differentials between a short iron and a driver. So the first thing that we need to realize when I'm setting up to a driver or to a nine iron, you'll notice the driver sits lower. So I'm going to be starting. My wrist is going to be a little bit more radial just so that you guys are aware. So understanding anatomical terminology of the hands. This is going to be ulnar deviation. So ulnar deviation, this is when I take my thumb and I stretch this away from my forearm. Radio is going to be hinging this towards this part of my forearm as much as possible. Now when we talk about what the wrist can do, this is flexion, going into flexion like this, and this is going to be extension. Flexion of the wrist, radial, ulnar. Okay? So when we're, when we're setting up to a driver, you're going to be, because the swing plane of this sits lower, your wrist is going to naturally sit a little bit more radial. Now, is that saying that you have to keep it radial the entire time? Absolutely not. You can go from radial, just like the way that I like to teach it. So I personally, my preference with every club, if I had a stock model, when I start off swinging this, I like to try and feel like I'm working the handle back at a higher rate than the club head's moving in. Reasons being, one, I can present more width. Two, I can keep my arms in against my body connected. And three, this club just naturally planes itself out, the face stays square, and I can work this in one piece. And then from there, once I get this back to about right here, then I can start taking this golf club and transferring the pressure of it from my lead hand to my trail hand to where my lead wrist starts to flatten out. Depending on how weak my grip is or how strong it is, it's going to depend, is going to determine how much flexion I have in my lead wrist. But this for me, this is a very natural way of getting the wrist to work into flexion right here, the lead wrist. See, if I go here and I move the club head, this is a big, big, big one that I want everybody to understand. If I move the club head first, if I move the club head first like this and then I start to pick this up, my wrist is now working into extension. And if I keep that there, that face is going to be open and I'm probably going to have to use an outside in path to square it up. Now, when we look at an iron, a short iron, You'll see the plane of this, the swing plane of this is going to be up closer to 60 degrees where driver is going to be around 45 degrees. And so up here, my wrist is already sitting more into ulnar deviation. That would be for most of us, me especially where I've got longer arms. So this is going to be sitting more into ulnar deviation. So a lot of times you'll notice for me, one of the things I do is so I pick this up, I start it in front of me. So I've already got my wrist preset right there. And as I work the handle right here, past my trail leg, where I feel like the grip is moving back at a higher rate than the club head, then for me now I can start to transfer this and I can work this into a bicep curl. So those would be some of the big differences that I'd say that I see in between irons and driver. But really the biggest differentials are going to be how I present my spine at setup, how much right bend I'm going to have, how wide my base is going to be, it's so like if I'm hitting a, a knockdown nine iron, this is going to be about my base for my feet. If I'm hitting a driver, I'm not going to have my feet like this hitting a driver. I'm going to actually be significantly wider. I'm going to bring my right hand in more underneath this direction. And this is going to be so that my shoulders stay more square. And it helps me get into more of a natural form of right bend without, well, I see too many people, I get here and then they tilt and then they're stuck right here, they can't move. And so those, I like doing a lot of this stuff a lot more naturally so that it's more simplistic for us to get into it. And again, the more natural we are, generally speaking, the easier it is, it is that we're go the easier it is for us to repeat that right there. So let's see if we got any questions on here.